Hello everyone, and welcome to a new series of mine called Paleo Myths. There are tons of ideas circulating in our culture regarding paleontology. Some are true, some are complete trash. The goal of this series is to separate fact from fiction to see what the actual science says about extinct animals rather than taking your neighbor's word for it. At the end of each episode, I'll give a rating based on how likely I see the myth. While some conclusions may be obvious, I'm sure there's room for debate over those more in the middle. I certainly don't have the nerve to claim to have the final say on any subject. Not even actual paleontologists can do that, with new finds and new ideas occurring all the time. Though I can promise to give what I find to be the most logical answers. So that leads us to our first myth regarding the dreaded Giganotosaurus, often hailed as and called the largest predator to walk the earth. Everyone ready? Great. Let's dig this up. Giganotosaurus carolini was a massive theropod dinosaur from the late Cretaceous Patagonia region of South America about 99 to 95 million years ago. The first significant specimen, or the holotype, was discovered in 1993 by the namesake Ruben D. Carolini, though this specimen wouldn't be described until two years later by Rodolfo E. Correa and Leonardo Salgado. Wow, they have such lovely names. I'm stuck with Tim. I, th I can't f***ing COMPETE! I just can't f***ing COMPETE! The Giganotosaurus, meaning giant southern lizard, was certainly the apex predator of its ecosystem, likely feasting on contemporary iguanodonts and vulnerable sauropods. Similar to other members of the Carcharodontosauridae family, it possessed sharp, blade-like teeth perfect for slicing through flesh. Carcharodontosaurus literally means shark-toothed lizard. The Giga is part of a notorious lineage, but still an impressive animal in its own right, reaching lengths of 12.5 to 13 meters. But one of its main claims to fame is often being hailed as the largest carnivorous dinosaur, specifically larger than the famous T-Rex, because everything needs to be compared to T-Rex. Some notable examples of this largest carnivore myth include this. There it was, the biggest land predator ever. Paleontologists reckon that that predator weighs two tons more than T-Rex. This... Giganotosaurus. Biggest carnivore the world has ever seen. And of course, this. In many places, this theropod is given the title of largest predator to have ever walked the earth. To get this point across, it's often seen griefing T-Rex. Every awesome bro filmmaker knows that the best way to introduce a new threat is just to humiliate T-Rex. All dumb pop culture aside, how does the general premise hold up? What does the science say? Is Giganotosaurus the biggest? Luckily for me, both the Giga and Tyrannosaurus are both popular enough and represented well enough in the fossil record to draw the attention of several studies. There are four different specimens I will be looking at. For Giga comes the holotype, along with a partial lower jaw from a seemingly larger individual. As for Tyrannosaurus, there's the famous Sioux specimen that's over 90% preserved, and the Scotty specimen. I'll be referring to each of these a lot for the rest of the video. And still before we continue forward, we have more terms to define. Giganotosaurus is often called the biggest or the largest, but we need to determine what those terms mean before we prove or debunk the myth. If you ask any scientist or anyone who knows what the Shrek they're talking about, they will tell you that these terms refer specifically to mass. Biggest and largest mean most massive. There's simply more animal there. Let's take whales for example. It's commonly said that the blue whale is the largest animal to have appeared on Earth. A sheer chonker of an animal that can weigh over 110 metric tons. It's called the biggest and the largest, but is it the longest? No. That record goes to a deep sea Nidarian in the genus Apolemia. Lion's mane jellyfish also have been recorded at lengths of 36 meters, longer than the largest confirmed 30 meter blue whale. 
Even if biggest did mean longest, then that would make Spinosaurus the biggest, because Spinosaurus is the longest theropod dinosaur at about 14 meters. Okay, but maybe largest means tallest. Is the blue whale the tallest animal ever? Well, I guess height isn't something marine animals need to concern themselves with, since they can just swim upwards, I guess. But if a blue whale was unfortunate enough to beach itself into the terrible teen beach movie, but its severe mass causes a giant rip in the space-time continuum, bringing it to the Cretaceous, a sword Poseidon standing next to it would be taller. Gosh, this video is going off the rails. But largest does not equal tallest. I could have just compared elephants and giraffes in Africa, but I'm sticking to my guns. Time traveling whales. And again, if height is the new standard for biggest or largest, then Spinosaurus wins again. It may be cheating with that sail, but hey, it wins. So we have established that calling something the largest clearly means most massive. Was Giganotosaurus the most massive predatory dinosaur? This is difficult to determine because paleontologists have used several methods for calculating mass, though even if someone uses the perfect formula to calculate an individual's mass exactly, that's not enough because we need to account for age, sexual dimorphism, and individual variation within a species, so different specimens can attain different sizes. In 1995, when the description of Giganotosaurus was published, its authors gave a size of between 6 and 8 tons, calling it probably the biggest predatory dinosaur. This was 27 years ago, so take this with a grain of salt. A paper from 2007 used skull length as an indicator of body mass. It did find Giganotosaurus to be over 4 metric tons larger than Tyrannosaurus, but still not being the biggest. The authors found Carcharodontosaurus to be even larger at 15 tons compared to nearly 14 tons. Unfortunately for the Allosauroid fans, later studies would find the Giga skull length to have been exaggerated. One more recent study on this exact subject came from Dr. Scott Hartman in 2013. He compared the mass of Sue with those estimated for both Giganotosaurus specimens by using graphic double integration, a method in which a 3D model of an animal is sliced up into many cross sections to find its volume. Then, adjusting for varying densities for each body part, a mass can be estimated. It's much more complicated than that, I'm still trying to wrap my head around it, but there's a basic rundown. Such volumetric methods have proved to be far more accurate than previous allometric methods where logarithms are used to estimate body mass based on the dimensions of certain body parts. Slicing up T-Rex and the Giga through this method, he gave the former an estimated 8.4 tons, 6.8 tons for the Giga holotype, and 8.2 tons for the larger Giga, which he noted may not represent an animal with much greater dimensions, but just a more robust jaw. It's super fragmentary, so we can't tell for sure. An increase in dimensions by 6.5% was very generously given here, I might add. Being more conservative would bring lower results. All in all, Dr. Hartman found the Sioux specimen to be larger than both known Giganotosaurus individuals. But hold on to your butts, because Sioux isn't even the largest known Rex. No, no, that title belongs to the absolute behemoth named Scotty. The more complete Sioux is placed at 12 meters and 8.4 tons. Scotty stomps in at nearly 13 meters and 8.9 tons. In an official description given by Persons, Curie, and Erickson, this Vex is way larger than the competition. It doubles the masses of Sauropaganax, Acrocanthosaurus, and Mapusaurus. Giganotosaurus falls far behind at a given 6.3 tons. A different method was used in this study though, instead measuring the femur circumferences of each animal. They are bearing the body weight, so you'd expect heavier creatures to need thicker femurs. This isn't always true though, as in anomalies like Spinosaurus with its bizarre morphology. But we see Scotty at 590mm, Sue at 580mm, and the Giga holotype at 520mm. Even scaling that up by 6.5%, which Hartman said was generous, that only brings it up to 554 millimeters, making it smaller than both Sue and Scotty. So at similar lengths, why was Tyrannosaurus of all theropods so much heavier than the rest? Well, just looking at its skeleton, experts can tell that they were thick. These predators had such a deep chest and 
very wide body, packing more meat into a similar length. The Allosauroids, on the other hand, were much leaner and had narrower heads. These guys were designed for slicing flesh in a more elegant manner, while T-Rex was a bruiser that crushed and overpowered its prey. As I believe I demonstrated, some Giga specimens may have been longer than some Tyrannosaurus specimens, but the Rex was certainly more massive, which in turn, made it larger. Giganotosaurus is a fascinating dinosaur. I love its appearances across dinosaur media in the past few decades, and it was a formidable apex predator. I hope we get to find more specimens and learn more about this thing. However, I do not love constant comparisons to T-Rex. They're often unnecessary and only serve to appeal to the mainstream, who only know of T-Rex. Dinosaurs can be interesting without the constant comparisons. Even worse is when the comparisons are wrong. The giant southern lizard was a giant alright, but not as massive, not as large as Tyrannosaurus. It's time to rank this paleo myth on my lovely new myth meter. Was Giganotosaurus the largest predatory dinosaur, and in turn, the largest predator to walk the earth? My first ever paleo myth, I think, needs to go back to formula. Back to formula. The only reason it hasn't ended up in Morgan Freeman's That Idea Is Just The Worst is because we have many more T-Vex specimens than the Giga and really only two on the larger end are being compared. With only two giga specimens to study, it is possible that an even bigger individual will turn up. There just isn't as good a sample size to kill this myth with 100% certainty. But still, the unlikeliness of the scenario puts it low on the myth meter. We can still confidently say that, from what is known, Tyrannosaurus is the largest predator to walk the earth. Remember, if you enjoyed this video, to please leave a like, subscribe, and check out my social media. See you next time.